so uh, this is deep cervical fascia also called as fascia colli so this is nothing but deep fascia of a neck just like a deep fascia of hand you have seen uh, they form flexor retinaculum palmar apron just like that here also it forms investing layer pretracheal fascia prevertebral fascia carotid sheath buccopharyngeal fascia pharyngo basilar fascia according to the uh, area they are investing or lining them so no investing layer so here i want you to have an idea in the neck region the main components are trachea esophagus and vertebra from anterior to posterior remember this there. now investing layer so it has superior attachments inferior anterior and posterior so superiorly to what it attaches is it attaches to the external occipital protuberance and superior nuchal line mastoid process external acoustic meatus and base of mandible right inferiorly it attaches to the spine of the scapula acromion process clavicle and manipium sternum and anteriorly it attaches to the symphysis menti hyoid bone and below the hyoid bone it attaches to the opposite side here opposite side same fascia right posteriorly it is attached to the ligamentum nuchae ligamentum nuchae and to the seventh cervical vertebra and it encloses it encloses two sternocleidomastoid and a trapezius right when we trace it backwards when we trace it downwards it encloses two spaces suprascapular uh, sorry suprasternal space and supraclavicular space and it also encloses two glands submandibular gland and parotid gland when we trace it above it encloses them and it forms a roof for the anterior triangle and posterior triangle and also it forms a, uh, what is this intermediate tendon for two muscles and digastric and omohyoid muscle so that is about the investing layer now coming to the pretracheal layer pretracheal name says that in front of the trachea right so anteriorly only it will be seen so superior attachment is to the hyoid and also to the thyroid cartilage and also to the cricoid cartilage inferiorly it blends with it blends with it goes into the mediastinum blends with arch of aorta and fibrous pericardium right to the heart and blends with that layer and on the sides it in you see if you go backwards like this if you go backwards like this now here lies the thyroid now it goes backwards and it blends with the uh, fascia covering the sternocleidomastoid blends with the fascia covering the sternocleidomastoid after investing the thyroid gland so that is the side relation and here one thing is uh, at the level of the cricoid cartilage it gives it thickens this uh, fascia posterior layer of uh, pretracheal fascia thickens to form suspensory ligament that you need to remember here now prevertebral fascia so prevertebra means in front of the vertebra at this area right it goes on like this so prevertebral fascia so superiorly what it attaches superiorly the same thing it attaches to the base of the skull here and inferiorly uh, it like what is a it just blends downwards here at this area when we have vertebra here in front of it here only i will draw so here it will have vertebra similarly when you have a base here it comes down and it divides into two fascias like this buccopharyngeal fascia right and alar fascia buccopharyngeal now in front of this vertebra we have pharynx actually so pharynx uh, it has uh, anteriorly and posterior we say that uh, inside the pharynx there is a layer called pharyngo basilar fascia outside there is a layer called bucco pharyngeal fascia right both the two fascias are related to pharynx only inside the pharynx there is pharyngo basilar fascia outside the pharynx bucco pharyngeal fascia so this prevertebral layer will be almost uh, like lines the um, what is this bucco pharyngeal fascia and there is a space here we call them as retropharyngeal space retropharyngeal space now so inferiorly this uh, divides into uh, what is this uh, buccopharyngeal fascia it, it not divides it blends with the buccopharyngeal fascia anteriorly it splits and blends with the buccopharyngeal fascia and posteriorly blends with alar layer right 
and also to the fourth thoracic vertebra it goes down and attaches to the fourth thoracic vertebra now anteriorly it attaches to the uh, what is this uh, buccopharyngeal fascia right and also to the pharynx right anteriorly it uh, lines the not attaches lines the pharynx as i told it lines the uh, pharynx and also lines the buccopharyngeal fascia related to that so we have retropharyngeal space and laterally it it fuses with the fascia of sternocleidomastoid for this to understand um, you have to see this only so here the sternocleidomastoid when this is lining like this investing layer so prevertebral layer also blends with this it goes along with the fascia of sternocleidomastoid they all nothing but they are all same but we are differing we are calling it uh, like this way automatically finally they will blend with these only same investing layer right so this is about the prevertebral fascia now coming to the carotid sheath now where is the carotid sheath so by the side of the esophagus there are three structures called as uh, vein artery and nerve vein is internal jugular vein artery is common carotid or internal carotid artery nerve is vagus nerve these structures important structures will lie uh, here on either side of the esophagus like you say that pharynx you say that and this is lined by sheath called as carotid sheath so anteriorly this carotid sheath is formed by pretracheal fascia posteriorly by the prevertebral fascia this about two fascias only anteriorly pretracheal posteriorly prevertebral fascia contents are these three right now coming to the buccopharyngeal fascia what it is or both pharyngobasilar fascia i have drawn this pharynx it is covered by three muscles like uh, constrictor superior medial and inferior and i already told you internal to this pharynx is lined by pharyngo basilar fascia externally it is lined by buccopharyngeal fascia and above definitely they are uh, lining this or attaches to the base of the mandible um, or base of the skull sorry and inferiorly they just blends with the uh, nearby deep fascias right so this is about the deep cervical fascia